Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Cinnamon Stitches. I am your yarn host Jennifer. I am batch recording today. <laughs> like I do every... Generally I batch record on Mondays but um, today is actually Tuesday. I'm batch recording. I got some stuff to talk about to show you. So um, I have my water because I got a little bit of a sore throat in this gorgeous neon cup that I got from Ron John Surf Shop. Anyway, um, I'm trying to, what, today's, today's Friday. Today is Friday. I bought some yarn, okay, because Michael's sucked me in. They sucked me all the way in. Yep, these are my yarns for Michael's. Michael's got some new yarns. They constantly are doing new things, right? So, I am freezing. It's snowy and cold outside. <laughs> so... I have seen a bunch of targeted ads come up for Michael saying, oh, look at this. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Because that's the way Facebook works. They target you and they they know that I like yarn. So they keep showing me these yarn ads and over and over again. And then I'm getting emails on them. And I was like, but that's kind of pretty. I'm kind of curious. <laughs> so while I was on vacation, I actually placed an order for one of the yarns because... I got a couple of rewards between me. Now, see, this is the way we work Michaels, okay? Me and Mr. Cinnamon both have our own Michaels reward accounts, as does Juju. So if they send us a good coupon, there's three of them. We all have our own coupon because we all have our own account. And they both let me use their account if I need the coupons or if I need a rewards or whatever discount I can use. And they sent me a $10 reward and then they sent Mr. Cinnamon a $5 reward. And then they sent coupons on top of that. And so I got... I didn't pay full price for any of these yarns. Um, I think I still have the receipts in the bag. So we're going to go over that. The reason I bought this one, I ordered it, was because I got an email that I had a $10 reward. And... I don't remember what else I had. So this is just, this says how much I paid for them. Let me see if my, my receipt is in my Gmail account because this was an order. Now see the bad part about this is I have a personal and then I have a business uh, email account and I can never remember which email I ordered from. All right, so what it's saying I paid on here is different than what this is saying. Let me do some math real quick. Five, 10, 15. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. All right, so that makes sense. So this is correct and my email is wrong. So these are the coconut cakes. And I apparently paid $5.59 for two of them and $4.79 for the third one. I believe these retail for about $10, maybe $12. We're going to have to go to Michael's. We're going to have to go to Michael's website because I need to tell you guys what the regular price is. Because not everybody's going to have the $10 reward. Michael's. Now, I kept seeing these come up and I searched them in the app and they were not showing up. All right, these retail for $12.99. As of today, the 16th, they're on sale for $8.99. I had a $10 off reward and I may have had a coupon like I said I paid $5.59 for two of them and then $4.79 for the third one I and I, I don't remember who also showed these on a video because I, I we've been on vacation I have not really been watching anybody for over a month I haven't watched a full video and someone showed these it might have been in an Instagram reel but it wasn't a full video, and I was like, ooh, those look interesting. So, 
These are the coconut cakes. They are 78% cotton and 22% polyester. But what fascinated me is it's got like the strands on it that kind of look like the furry parts on the latte cakes. These are not soft like latte cakes, so do not be surprised that they, they feel cottony, okay? Matter of fact, let me put some lotion on because I'm feeling dry. So, the Karen Coconut Cakes, they're brand new at Michael's. Like I said, they're $12.99 regular. Let me read the label while I'm rubbing my lotion in. It is 481 yards of a worsted weight number four. It's machine washable and dryable, which we love. And it's cotton and polyester so it the cotton part would make nice wearables for like spring summer polyester can tend to be a little bit warm but I really think the polyester is probably the colored part where the maybe the stringy parts I don't know I don't know um, this is the color tutti frutti it's got purple pink orange and yellow on a white background and so it's the white strand was wrapped with the the variegated color and then the variegated color has all these little pieces that just stick up little like pieces I just thought it was unique and cute and like this comes in amazing colors um, let's see how many colors it comes in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 colors. Comes in 12 colors. So this one is Tutti Frutti. I got this one which is Sugar Teal. Because oh my god this screams summer to me. This makes me think of like umbrellas over the beach or like even like ocean on a sunny summer day, sunny day. See how there's all these like little, it's, it's cool. These remind me of the, I just used it. The, what is this yarn? I'm working with it now. Line Brands Comfy Cotton Blend a little bit. Um, now I'm holding this double, but like I just worked with the Cotton Candy Blend. Not the yes, the Comfy Cotton Blend and the Cotton Candy Blend. This is Line Brand Cotton though. It kind of it feels and looks very similar, with the exception of those little uh, hairy bits. And then the last color I got was Jam. So this one is blue, pink, and purple. Which the pink is not really showing so much on camera. It's looking a little darker than what it is. The pink is very much like a... There it is. This pink right here. It's looking more purpley on screen. Because my camera is trying to make sense of the color. So it tries to even out the blues. Which is making the pink look more purple. But it's definitely... It's, it's pink. I just thought they were so pretty. Really confused my camera, huh? So I got those three. I ordered those um, while I was on vacation. And I had them delivered to the house. So I paid a small shipping fee. What did I say? It was like $7.99 or something like that for shipping. So my grand total for the three cakes was $25. Which, considering these retail for $12.99 each, I didn't think that was a really bad deal. And I really wanted them. And they were only available online at the time. Of course, now they're available at every store. But I just was impatient. And then I picked up a, a pick-me-up order while I was on vacation. <laughs> we were driving home and I was like, oh, they got another new yarn. And I was seeing this one online. Again, targeted ads. And I loved the way it looked. And I was like, okay, but that looks really luscious. I actually have the coupons for this one. Or not the coupons. The receipt. 
Now this was one of those situations where I placed an online order. Of course, that don't have nothing. Now I gotta go back to my email. No, I don't. I guess I maybe. You can go to my account. Sign in. What's my sign in? You guys know my password? <laughs> I never remember my password. I have to store everything on my phone. Purchases. Order history. All right. So these are regularly $7.99. I had a coupon. And I saved, I had a voucher and a coupon. So I saved $7.20, $7.20 on my 30% off coupon. And then I had a $5 off voucher. So I saved a bunch of money. It should have been $23.97 subtotal before tax. And I paid $12.33 for the three balls of yarn. So, I mean, it's a really good deal. Regularly $7.99, I paid $12 for three. These are the Loops and Threads Carousel Twist. Now, I have a funny story to tell you about my little trip to my local Michaels, okay? This was in a bag in the front. And Michaels, when you order online and you pick up in store, it's in a bag tied and you get your own stuff out of the bin. You ain't got to talk to nobody, right? So I walked up to the bin, found my order, untied it, opened it, looked inside, made sure the order was correct, tied it back up, and then walked to the back of the store where the yarn is. I had Mr. Cinnamon with me. I was also looking for maybe other new yarns that are on the market. I was trying to see what was going on. I will put in a clip somewhere here or at the beginning of the video where I show you guys what was actually in my local Michael's store. All right, so these are the skinny cakes. These are the new colors of skinny cakes. I just had someone question me about this in the Facebook group. They are not discontinued. They are still around. These are all the beautiful new colors. Is that not pink and yellow one gorgeous? There were so many colors to choose from. So skinny cakes is like a temporary thing. They come and they discontinue them every year and they come out with new flavors in the spring. These are the new cinnamon swirl cakes. Again, I had a really hard time picking which color I wanted of these because there were so many that just tickled me to death. And so like I, I like I really like the colors. The colors are so bright and vibrant. I almost like this one, but the olive green in there was kind of turning me off. And I really like those. All right, so this is the yarn I talk about in this video where I had the guy think I was stealing stuff. But this yarn is so soft and beautiful and it is definitely on my to buy list. It's gorgeous. It's really like fluffy. It sticks to my fingers a little bit. So I would just buy one or two to try it out, but it's really, really pretty. It reminds me of the Scarfy Light a little bit. And it's a really good price. All the colors. These are the new coconut cakes and we will get up close and personal with these beautiful colors. These two colors together would be so gorgeous. There's the teal and then the lighter blue and Bentley is whining so you can probably hear him. I really like the colors. This yarn is not super soft. It kind of feels like a wash rag material. But I think it would make a really cool bag or like something for summer. And then some of the darker, more neutrally colors. Now, I go to the back of the store. I got my tied bag around my wrist hanging because I didn't want to be... I'm very aware that people steal. I'm very aware, aware that I just grabbed an order that could or couldn't have been mine. Like, they don't know. They don't check. I hate that they don't check, but like, whatever. Go to the back of the store and I'm very like, oh, yarn. Because there's all these new yarns. Like, all these new yarns and I'm touching. Because you guys know how I am. I have to touch it. I have to feel it. Do I like the texture? Do I like the color? Which one do I want? Which one do I need? I also didn't have a whole lot of money, so I was very, very careful with what I was looking at. I was doing a little bit of filming with my camera. I did that whole clip thing that I'm going to put together for you guys. I filmed this. I filmed that, right? So I'm at the end cap of an aisle. 
the front of the store is facing that way. So the front store is way up. I'm at the very back of the store. And there's aisles that go this way. And aisles that go this way. And I am at the end cap of one of these aisles, right? And they had a new yarn out, which I did not purchase. But it was so beautiful and soft and lofty. And like... <sighs> It was a loops and threads yarn and I didn't have my glasses on and so I have it very close to my face like this trying to figure out because they changed these labels now where they used to put the color name was right here on the label and now the color name is hidden up here so see the the little barcode scanny thing right there the color name is right here and so I'm used to looking all the way down here and now I'm scanning all of this because I can't see it's blurry. I didn't have my glasses on. Where's the name? And I'm like, right? And I'm very close because I'm touching every single skein of yarn because I love it. It was beautiful, right? Bag is hanging tied closed on my arm. This man who was either a manager at the store or loss prevention comes flying from like flying from the front of the store and i know that he worked at the store because not what he was wearing we yeah, because how he was behaving okay i never stole the thing in my whole life i never will okay I, I don't do that i am very aware i grew up in a neighborhood where you were watched when you went into a store i am aware when i'm being watched okay i am and because of the area I grew up in, I stood out like a sore thumb because I'm very white. Okay? I was watched everywhere I went. I was stopped because why are you in this neighborhood? I live in this neighborhood. Okay? I, I'm used to this kind of behavior growing up. <sighs> um, this guy bolts from the front. Like, he is speed walking. And he's got an ink pen in his hand. Right? Let me find. I don't know if I have a clicker ink pen. Because I want to show you what this man was doing, right? He's got an ink pen in his hand. And he he's speed walking. And I can hear him behind me coming. And I turned and looked and went right back to the yarn. Because at the moment, it didn't occur to me what was happening, right? And I'm looking. And he darts up. Because like I said, I'm on the end cap of now. He darts up that aisle right there. And I shift slightly to the side this way because I'm looking at the different colorways. And there was two colorways that were very similar. And I'm looking at them like this in the light. So I had to lean this way a little bit. And I'm trying to see if they were the same color. And so I pulled apart a little bit. And then I'm trying to find the color name. They were different colorways, but they were so similar. And I'm very interested in this yarn. It's very pretty, right? And when I shifted slightly to the side, he couldn't see me anymore. And I mean, it was a matter of inches. I moved over, like inches. He, like, violently jerked towards me and he's clicking. I looked at him, I'm like, bro, <laughs> calm down. And so I looked over at Mr. Sinman and I was like, he's clearly lost prevention because he thinks something's going on that ain't going on. Went back about my business, touching and fondling all the yarn, figuring out what I wanted to purchase, right? Then we went a little bit further away from the yarn and stopped because we both have our phones open, looking at our app, trying to get the coupons and the rewards and seeing what has the best. And I called Juju to see if she had any rewards because I used my $5 off reward on this. So I'm like, do we? what discounts can I get so I can buy this yarn? Because we just got back from vacation and funds are like tight right now. And I didn't need the yarn. But I really wanted it, and, like, <laughs> I just wanted it, okay? And so we were, we figured out who had the rewards, who had the coupons. And I'll go over that in a minute, because I did buy two other skeins of yarn, aside from the or order I was picking up. Now, this is the Loops and Threads Carousel Twist. I don't know why, but this reminded me of Puzzle a little bit. And I don't know why, because it doesn't make sense to Puzzle. I think it's because it's marled. And I just kept thinking Puzzle Yarn from Premiere, which I love. And so I just, I, was, I really liked the way it looked. And so I ordered some from Little Tiny Swatches on the internet. And then when I got them, I was not at all disappointed. This yarn is soft. It has got a really good squish factor to it. And it's beautiful colors. All right, now what color did this come in? This comes in 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve colors. Um, beautiful, beautiful colors. I picked the ones with the white base, but they do have them in other colors. So pink base, yellow base, uh, blue base. They do come in different colors. Um, let me click one to a pretty one. That one's not pretty. This just reminded me of Premier Yarns, like a lot. It reminded me kind of like a little bit of the dotty yarn, a little bit of puzzle yarn. It's like all the things I love mixed in. It's got marl, so it's twisted colors. It's just beautiful. I have no idea how it's going to look worked up. But even the picture on the label, it reminds me of puzzle yarn. But puzzle is a five weight and this is a four weight. So this is acrylic yarn. It's 213 yards. Oh, it is bulky. It's a number five. I bet I could mix this with the puzzle. It's a bulky. I want to make hats with this because I think these would be so cute as hats. Um, and I usually knit my hats. I prefer knit hats to crocheted hats. Personal preference. I just like the way they fit my head better because I have a big head. Um, this one is the color birthday cake. So it's got a white base. And every once in a while it has a little bit of color like twirled around it. It's got yellow and blue and uh, like a magenta color and green. There's a little tiny bit of pink but like barely at all. There's pink at the end of the magenta. I just thought this was so pretty. That's birthday cake. And then this one is posy. Posy. Hang on. Posy, yeah. The bouquet is like the French color. So it says posy slash bouquet. Bouquet is the French version of the posy word. Whereas this one says birthday cake and then it says gâteau de anniversaire. anniversaire. <laughs> I do not speak French. I'm just going to say that. <laughs> um, this one has like more jewel tones. So it's got like a pink that leads into like a, a it's not quite burgundy which turns into purple which turns into navy there's a little bit of tealy blue in there and that's just really pretty and it's so squishy and then the final one i got is the color pink lemonade which is pinks and yellows and purple where are you going? Why? So I can go get the Coke. Oh. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. So, kind of in love with that. I would like all of the colors of that, but like, not in the finances right now. But it's gorgeous and it's so squishy. Like, it's got such a good squish to it. You ever just pick up a yarn and you're like, oh. I actually got goosebumps right now squishing it because it feels so nice to me. I have, um, uh, not stimulus. What is it called? Se I have sensory. My, my sensories are overload. So I don't know that I feel things more intensely than people. I think that I do. Um, I think it's part of the neurodivergence that is inside of me, but, um, squishing certain things like just it makes me completely elated like oh my god like I love certain texture I love certain textures hate hate other textures I can't deal with wood cardboard um popsicle sticks I will not if I taste a popsicle stick in the ice cream surrounding the popsicle stick I will get like my teeth hurt and I get goosebumps and cringe like in a, the worst like it is awful if I see someone else biting a popsicle stick, I get the same exact sensation like my body overreacts to things. <laughs> this yarn is giving me goosebumps in the best way possible. I get squish. I just really, really like it. Like the colors, it makes me think of spring and like fresh flowers being grown. And it's just, it makes me so happy. Like these, this could be something really cute for Easter, especially if you live somewhere where it's still cold at Easter time, you know, but 
like I just and I love that it's a bulky five I love it it's a bulky five it's so squish that's my favorite of all the yarns I purchased today and then like I said I was still squishing yarn after I picked that up so we split this I got two more cakes one I purchased with my coupon and one Mr. Cinnamon purchased with his reward and his coupon and I'm going to tell you guys look at your coupons versus the sales okay so yarn is buy one get one 50 percent off at michael's at the time i purchased these that's only 25 percent off buy one get one half off is 25 percent off i had a coupon for 30 percent off in my email mr cinnamon had a coupon he had let me see We're 30 percent off reg I had a 30 percent off regular price he had a 30 percent off regular price and he had a five dollar reward so I purchased two clearance things that were a dollar each I bought myself some permanent markers they were so cute they were for a dollar for like the whole color range of permanent markers and then I bought Juju some really cute erasers because they had ladybugs in the eraser set and that was a dollar so with those two things at a dollar and the cinnamon swirl cake which is they're new they're different from the last batch. These retail for $12.99. My total was $11.68 for the, the Karen cake and the $2 thing. So these were $9.09 is what I paid for this. Which 30% off beats if I had purchased both of them and then gotten the buy one get one half off. Because they wouldn't give me the 30% off because it wasn't retail. So me and Mr. Cinnamon, he's my math nerd, so he helps me with the math things. And he's like, well, it's a better deal to do it this way. He is also the coupon king, and I love him for it. <laughs> and then he purchased this one, and this is the Karen Skinny Cakes, which someone was just asking me about in the Facebook group. They were like, what's the deal with the Skinny Cakes? There's a whole, like, there were so many Skinny Cakes at my Michaels. So many, and brand new colors that, oh my god, this screams summer. So this one is regularly $12.99. We got it for the 30% off, which is $9.09. And he had a $5 off voucher. So his total came to $4.31 for a Karen Skinny Cake. So deals, deals, and more deals. And I got to keep my receipts. Um, now we'll get into, I probably need to go over there because I want to show you the old cinnamon cakes versus the new cinnamon cakes. So I'll be right back. All right, so last year they came out with the cinnamon, Karen came out with the cinnamon swirl cakes. Now I like them because they remind me very much of a cake from Hobie. Um, and the Hobie cakes are like way more expensive than what these retailed for. Um, $12.99 is kind of expensive for these cakes, but they're more expensive on Hobie almost all of the time and they look identical. So, and I actually, I believe I did a review video. And I don't think I have any more of the Hobie cakes because I used them for Christmas. You know what? I do because Mr. Cinnamon bought me one. He bought me one for Christmas. Okay, these are, these are not exactly the same. But this is a Hobie cake. This is the cinnamon swirl cake. They are very, very similar. Um... I dare to say they're made by the same manufacturer. It's a three weight. This is a four. Okay, so this is a three weight. This is a four weight. Very similar, but this is also the Christmas version. So I don't know if they're the regular one that looks like this. I don't remember what the Dahlia cakes maybe. Anyway, very similar. Very similar. There's also cakes over there from. I don't know if you guys can see these these neon cakes over here those are from they're hot cakes Plymouth hot, hot cakes very similar except those are wool very similar um, okay so these were the ones from last year and they're gorgeous and I have another colorway too I just can't figure out where I put it it's the coral and purple one. Oh, it's it's right here next to Winifred I didn't see it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because this one's most similarly similarly colored. So when they released these last year, 
I kind of went crazy because I like cinnamon swirl cinnamon stitches. I kind of need some of them. Didn't like the price. Waited till they were on a really good sale. I bought a couple. I don't have a lot of them and I haven't used them yet because I thought they were so gorgeous and they have my name on them. And I'm convinced that Karen was trying to wheel me over to their side of the dark side <laughs> by putting my name on there. Don't tell nobody though. <laughs> anyway, I really like the, the way they look. So I purchased a couple. I only ha I think I have two in this colorway and I may have two in the purple and coral colored one. I might. I'm not sure. I might only have one of these. I don't know. But when I saw the new cinnamon swirl cakes, this is this year. I thought they were just so much prettier because you see this little speckly bits. That's on all of the cakes. Like they re-upped it. So instead of just like all oh, this, like they, they, they re-upped it. And that pretty. And I had a really hard time picking which color I wanted of this because there were so many beautiful ones. And if you watch the video where I filmed in the store, you will see all the colorways. I picked this one because Mr. Cinnamon really loves the color blue. This also reminds me of the ocean. And I really, really miss the ocean. I have not been back to the ocean in a couple years now. And it just, it makes me think of like sailboats and sitting on the shoreline and watching the boats go by or like be blue beach umbrellas against the blue sky you know i just thought it was just it just screamed summer and it's cold and snowy outside right now and i just am dreaming of summer because i'm a summer girl i'm a summer girl <laughs> i love hot weather i love the sunshine i love the pool the ocean I, I even like playing in the creek like i just water sun it's me and so I just really, really like this and I had to purchase one. And because we had the coupons and everything, I thought it was well worth the price. So this is the colorway snow cone, which no, that's ocean tides. Okay. We're not doing no snow cones here. Um, medium number four, machine washable and dryable, 100% acrylic, 407 yards. This is a four weight. I'm... I should I, you know what I do have my glasses hang on where are my glasses I do have my glasses they're in my project bag somewhere they're in here somewhere and by the way I went back to my old glasses because I can't see out of my newer prescription because they're too strong which is fantastic which means things are reversing in my eyes and instead of getting worse they're getting better which is fantastic news. Um, these are my prescriptions from two years ago and I can see just fine out of them. They're dirty, but like whatever, we're just gonna go with it. So I really like that. And then the Karen Skinny Cakes. I like, here's my problem. I buy cakes and then I don't use them. I have a whole wall here of cakes. I love them and I can't get enough of them and I buy them and then I'm like okay well, what am I gonna make with that because it has to be something spectacular because it's the cakes and so I don't use them very often and I have a couple of Karen skinny cakes up there that I'm like well okay well what do I want to make and then I get stuck like what do I want to make but I keep buying them because I love them and Karen is not I don't like the I don't like Karen a whole lot I don't like their yarn a whole lot I'm not a big yarn inspirations like I don't I I my favorite yarn companies are as follows Lion not Lion Brand Premier Yarns then Lion Brand and then there's other companies that follow along yarn inspirations is not really something I I lean towards I have to have some people love yarn inspirations and that's cool but that's not it's just not one I gravitate toward towards most uh, and I really don't like Karen one pounders like that yarn feels yuck a lot of the Karen yarns I don't like the feel of I don't like Karen uh, Simply soft a whole lot because it's really splitty. I will use it but it's not like I And I don't shop at Michael's a lot because it's mostly Karen But like I had to have the Karen skinny cake. I like the Karen skinny cakes. This reminds me a lot of um, The ice cream yarn from Lion Brand is very similar. As a matter of fact, I might have a similar color in the Line Brand ice cream to this. This makes beautiful baby blankets. It makes really nice lightweight tops because it's a three-weight yarn. And that's what the skinny cake means, a skinny yarn. It's a three-weight. 
Um, this has 795 yards. This is the colorway banana. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what says banana about this beautiful aqua teal color, but whatever. It's banana. I just thought it was pretty and it screamed summer. Again, sunshine and them blue umbrellas. This, this screams the beach to me. And now I can see bananas and blue umbrellas like in your little banana margarita or whatever you're going to drink. I just thought it was beautiful. I just could not resist it. Um, machine washable and dryable 100% acrylic. Almost 800 yards. This is $14.99 in Canada, $12.99 in the United States, according to the label. It's got way different shades of yellow. Like, it definitely is different shades of yellow. So there's a little bit of mustard there. The bluey greeny color also shifts colors a little bit. I don't know how much it's showing up on the camera. And then there's a little bit of white. I just think it's really, really pretty. See? You can see here and here's the difference in the colors there. So even though it looks yellow, blue, and white, or yellow, teal, and white, or whatever you're going to call it, it's got, like, several shades. There's, like, one, two, three, four shades of yellow. Three shades of the blue color, it looks like. And then a little bit of white mixed in there. So I'm hoping that it kind of like fades into the next color somewhat. I just thought this was gorgeous and screamed color. And because he had the reward and the coupon. I mean you can't beat $3 or whatever I paid for that $4. So. Now the hard part is. Staying away from all the other new yarns that are on the market. And. I, I love yarn. You guys know that. Like, I love yarn. I get so excited when I see new yarns on the market. I want to buy all of them. I want to try all of the yarns. I just want to play with them. <laughs> and I get myself into trouble sometimes. I know you guys feel the same way. It's like, some of you are like, yeah, I feel yeah. I want all the new yarns, too. And I just, I want to try them all. I We went to Joann's as well because I was on the lookout for a hook set that's supposed to be released. And they haven't unboxed it yet and put it on the shelf. Um... But I, I saw that there's new yarns at Joann's now. There's like a new Karen yarn that's like a, a... It's almost like the Karen One Pounder, but it's like... It was similar to this, but more monochromatic. And I was like, oh, that looks like fun to play with. Like, I just want to play and try out all the yarns. And I'm lucky enough that this is my job. And like... I literally like get to play with yarn for a living like this is the coolest job in the entire world and I would not trade it for anything um, but god like how, when there's so many new yarns coming out I just want them all I want to play with them all and it's really hard not to buy them all it really is because I just want I want to touch them all I want to squish them all I want to work I, I just I get so excited when I work it up and I get to see what it looks like worked up for the first time it's so thrilling to me <laughs> just love it um and then I get myself into trouble and then I end up with too much yarn but I really like check out Michael's they got some good yarns coming out they got some new colorways coming like it is popping my favorite of all of the yarns that I purchased is the loops and threads it is so squishy and so colorful and so fun I just I can see this with like baby blankets little kid sweaters a sweater for mommy like I would love to have a sweater these colors all the things I'm probably just gonna make hats to be honest because I just I 213 yards I would need like 10 balls of this to make myself a sweater and as much as I would love that like right now it's not gonna happen but yeah, I really like that yarn I like the way it feels I'm looking forward to making some summer items out of the coconut cakes I really would like to make a summer item. So this is 481 yards. I might be able to make a lacy tank top with this, but I was really thinking like a bag, like a beach bag or something like that would be so much fun to make with that, with them little fuzzy things hanging off. Cause I don't know, that's not real, it's not real soft. So I don't know if I would like that on my skin because it feels kind of like a wash rag. Because you know how wash rags have like the, the fuzzy bit? It reminds me of a washcloth. This might make good washcloths. I don't know. It's machine washable and dryable. I could totally see making wash rags out of this. I'm not going to. Hand towel? That would be a cute hand towel. I love hand towels. 
So there you have it. Um, thank you so much for watching me obsess over my yarn and fondle it. <laughs> it's been real fun for me. <laughs> I hope it's been fun for you too. I will let you go and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.